Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 12 of Rustic Waters 2 for a second. Couldn't remember what I was doing, which shouldn't surprise anybody at all. So, um, yeah, I'm mining. Mining? I'm trading. This is not mining. If this was mining, it would be easy. I'm trading with villagers. And, um... I got a, a, it was a very convoluted way of getting here. Still sticks for emeralds. Two emeralds for a bow. Hmm. Okay. Spartan weaponry. Can you make that? Leather strengthened longbow. But what does that use? Okay. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so I've got a, a little bit of a villager breeder going on. It's nothing much. I mean, it's extremely basic. But I went and got two villagers from up on the surface. There they are, peacefully sleeping. Um, I didn't like the professions that they had. I didn't like the trades that they had. And I thought, you know what, actually, I would like to have a, you know, bit of a village going on. Well, not a village, but, you know, trader hall. So at least I could get everybody. So, so far they've produced two, two spawn. We've got a librarian who, at least this one has a better um, enchantment. The first one had, I think it was Aquaphobia <laughs> as an enchanted book. And it's like, yeah, that's not, and that, that meant you got damage every time you went into the water, which didn't make sense. So I didn't bother, I just went and took him out, let him run around. He went back to being a normal villager, then stuck him back in front of the the um the lectern again. And then he's got this book, which is better. Although I'm pretty sure I will have more spectacular books, but this is better. Um and the Fletcher, and he had the sticks for emeralds, so that's fine. Um these guys will be joined by others over time. That's my very first emerald that I got from Mr. Fletcher. And um, what else did I do? I came on not intending to do very much. And then I ended up putting the second floor on here. I added an extra side. So this is now a five by five instead of four by four. And upstairs, I was fully prepared to put down the um, the blast blast furnace, blast furnace, blast engine, and everything. And then I was pondering the rotational speed controller. They had it hooked up something like this, so that's what I did. And then realised, well, I'm getting um, I'm getting power anyway, <laughs> so I think um. I think I've may have bypassed the need for the <laughs> for the um for the for the blast engine, but never mind. I mean, I've got this set up, which is cool. It's generating power. I've got to remember how to get power out of it. I mean, I know you have oh this is input. And that's also input. Right, I know that you can change it so that it's output but I don't know what it's going to be outputting into. So, um, so yeah, that's basically what I did. Put in the second, second story out here, put in, we've got stuff going on with, um, we've got RF basically, and it's being stored in a capacitor. So we have power. And now we have to make a, um, we gotta make stuff. We gotta make a plane. Go exploring. Cause you know we need to we need to spread our wings. Um oh, talking about exploring. I did do a bit more exploring, looking for multiple villagers, because I didn't want to go and take a villager from some place that only had two. So any extras were picked up. Um found some more stuff. I got a loot crate. Um Anything suspicious stew. I don't know if it's worth eating the suspicious stew because I don't want anything to happen. Anything weird to happen, but 
yeah, we have we have a loot crate. Let's open the loot crate. Uh, copper to iron chest upgrade, pink ceramic tiles, glass trap door, and inferium, inferium ore. Okay. That's okay. Four of those, 64 of those, one and one. Okay, that's not bad. It is not bad. You do get the most random things in loot crates, but that's fine. Right. Um today's episode let's see what we need i don't know why i came all the way back <laughs> because you know <laughs> uh, never mind um right the alternator that is that's xp i don't want to use up my xp yet not until i have a mob farm so next quest subnautical so we make the sea moth frame and electric engines. Um, so we can either make we can make the sea moth. We can also make a helicopter aircraft as well. And we can make diving stuff. Oh, I had made I'd made these. I'd made some because I made the diving not the mask. I made the 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 standard tank, the O2 tank, I think. Did I? Yes, I made the O2 tank. Okay, right. So some of this we can actually check off. But let's start with the CMOS frame. I think that's where we need to go. And to get the hub expansion key, we can just go straight down this line. And then we'll see what else we can do. Oh, there's a charging station. Okay, there you go. So that's what we need to charge. So let's get to the charging station today. Right, Seamoth frame. Um, the Seamoth submarine is a fast transportation vehicle that will enable you to travel long dis distances underwater. So we need steel scaffolding, framed glass, one, two, three, four, or a seven scaffolding, three framed glass, and one grey seat. Okay. How do you make steel scaffolding? Oh, steel rods. Okay. I did make lots of steel as well. That was the other thing I did. Because, obviously, I saw that we needed steel. Um, Which one should I... Uh, let's go for this one. I'll probably have to make some soon. Okay, I don't know if that's what has, I don't know if that's as many as we need. Okay. Right, that's more than enough. And what else did we want? Gray seat, so that's slab. Or we can, can we make either get grey wool or make a seat and then put grey dye. What dye do we have? We have light grey. We have white. Do we have black? No, squid ink. I don't have any squid ink. Oh. Oh, you know what? I went and killed one ages ago. Alright, let's go kill a squid. Let me get rid of this stupid banana. I don't know why I have it in my hand. Alright, doggos, you're going to have to stay here. Alright, so now that we are looking for a squid. One in this direction. There you are. Sir. Oh. He knew. He knew we wanted to interrogate him. Is there any other way to get black dye though? And earlier when I was, you know, when I was looking at stuff, it was like, yeah, loads of squids. And now that I actually want a squid, there's none. Oh, there's one this way. 
Where are you? This way. Sir, there you are. Um, we would like to talk to you about stuff. You swim fast. You swim really fast. Why are you swimming so fast? Just come back. You swim too fast. They don't usually swim that fast, do they? Or is it just that I'm swimming slowly? Did I get you? I'm not seeing any ink. Oh no, there's one. Maybe I didn't get him. Still nothing. Oh no, up here. There you go. Right. Ah, that was a lot of unnecessary um, stuff. My base looks really cool though, with the hydroponics room on top. And actually, it looks like I've done my, my room's too short. Interesting. They could have gone up, I think, maybe another, another block. Oh well, never mind. Not really going to bug me. Right. Uh, ink sack, black dye, grey dye. Right, do we have any wool? We has wool. Actually, we'll take, uh, take the white one. It's easier to make white wool. Okay, take you out. I'm going to have to clean this up in a second. I know. Grey wool. And slabs. Slab. Wool gives me a grey seat. Did I? Oh yeah, there's a the scaffolding. Um, and framed glass. Right, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. The seat goes here. And then the glass goes round there. Hit the button. And it works. And it sits on top of the deployer. Okay, I'll have to remember... Oh, what is wrong with me? I'll have to remember to put a step or something up to the... De oh, did I put... I went and put back all the slaps ah uh, more fingers and thumbs i think i'm just excited to make the sea moth the sea moth because i really wanted to so that's probably it um right let's take you out because we don't need you right now actually let's not say that because knowing me i'll probably do so fasteners and a 10 coin then reinforced wood Sea moth has a gooey. Ooh, cream festival bread. Okay, right. The goo the sea moth has a gooey that can be accessed from the inside the cockpit by pressing E. This allows you to exchange fuel cells. Okay. Right, what four of those and how many do they want? Eight. Alright, well that's why they gave us those then. And planks. Okay. And we get some food, which is good. All right. Four electric engines. Okay, so everything is scaled up by four. This is fun. Okay, let's get a head start. Well, I started to get a head start on 
the um, pistons. I need iron. All right, we need four. So that's four by three is 12. I think that's everything. All right, so that's 12 pistons. I need eight lead. Uh, four flint and no. Yeah, four flint and steel. Is that four? Yes, it is. Uh, four copper wires. I think I'm probably going to need a stack of copper for this. Because I need four copper wires, but then I also need what looks like a battery. Because I... Did I mention I took a picture on my phone? So then I don't have to keep going backwards and forwards. That's one thing I notice. What is this? A battery? No. Might be in might be better if I go back to this. Oh, electric engine. Copper coil block. Right, that gives you four. The block gives you once eight. Yeah, I'm gonna need a whole set of wire. Okay. I need where did I put my I think it's out here. I wish you could connect the upper levels via walkways as well, rather than just going round. Ah, uh, what did I come for? Oh yes, I want my toolbox because I need the cutters. The hammer is going to die, so I probably need to make a new one. That's two sticks. two bits of iron and some string. Where's the string? Oh, crescent hammer. What do you need for that? Oh, gears and stuff. All right, cool. I need to make a crescent hammer. I like my crescent hammers because they fix everything. Okay, so um, let's just make a stack of copper plates because we need copper plates. Can I uh, can I merge these two? Oh, nice. Good. Okay. Right, so we need the copper plates and then a stack of wire. Okay. Um, the coil is... That's just stick. Just a stick and the wire. We need sticks any sticks how many okay i need to start loading up on sticks again no not there there balance and match larger stack no nope why is that not what have i done wrong no 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 um oh is it not did i not save it let's save that okay we need yeah, 16. All right, that's what we need. Or maybe I did too much, I don't know. Like I said, you know me. Oh no, I need more copper coils because we need... Uh, we need eight redstone wire. I know. Can I... I can't break these back down, can I? Ah, fooey. All right, never mind. I'm sure we'll need them for something else. See, that's what happens when you're not thinking. Right, we don't want flint. We don't even want this bit because it doesn't thing. Um, craft. All right, how many did we need it? Eight. And then those. And then redstone. Oh yes, because it gives you... That was enough. We had enough. We're missing flint and steel. Really? Um, and of course we don't have any iron anymore. Uh, flint and steels. Is it with flint and steels? I don't know. What do you call it if it's more than one flint and steel? 
Um, take you out. Oh, you're gonna tell me something like you don't stack, right? Uh, which ones is it that doesn't stack? It'll be the flint, flint and steels. Yeah, they don't stack. Um, flint and steel. Okay, so we got a hub key fragment. And the sea moth. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and that is... Right, we can do that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we want the sea moth frame. The two batteries in the sea moth frame, right? Sea moth frame. Two batteries. And click the button. I like just standing back and watching this. It's pretty cool. And we got our sea moth. There's no power cell. All right. How do we know? Loot rewards. Oh, nice. Although it would have been better if it was like normal storage, but yeah. Luxury process. Pressing engagement two perk. I have no idea what that is. Um, oh, for Woot. Generate, generate industrial foregoing, like, generate industrial foregoing essence, produce 120% of liquid. Okay, I guess that makes sense once we have Woot. But it makes no sense to me right now. Okay, so we've done that. And that gives us an obsidian hammer. Copper coil block to build a charger. Okay. So another copper coil block. And there was me thinking, oh, I've made too many. Obviously I didn't. That needed iron in the middle. Um, iron up here. Yes. Get 10 coin. And the charging station. Treated wood planks, copper coil block, any glass, and iron, and wire connector. Okay, while I'm waiting for the, um, the terracotta to um to thing um cook i can do this all right where's my redstone redstone i can do that and then i can get the other fragment key and then we can unlock the final side and what was the other thing redstone wire do we have any copper wire left no we don't but it's fine oh yes we do we do we do we do Spotted that just in time. Okay, so we don't want that. But the power cell, nickel plate, um, hammer. There's the hammer. There's the nickel. Uh, power cell. And it's partially charged. That is awesome. Right. So we get that fresh, fresh, that hub key. Uh, where's the other two? Right, that's done. Let's go get our terracotta. Uh, I need more co uh, copper, cotton for that. I'm getting hungry. Might as well eat one of our root cream pies. Ooh, that was nice. That was very nice. Um, copper. Yes, I need three. All right, so there's the connectors. All right, I've got those glass and iron. Do I have glass? No. Okay, charging station. And that is done. Okay, good, good, good. Let's put the charging station 
onto charge and they said I can put it on top oh no it's going to start charging once we put something in it so that that's capacitor face inside no connection um I need something to stand on actually I will sort that out in a second yeah they didn't do anything else let's just put this in and then we can I'll work it out in between right do I have the seamoth I do let's just unlock no if I unlock it now and don't torch it up I'll come back to a mob farm no okay right Moth. Oh, it's so nice. And we're in. And E. And you put in the power cell. Oh, that is so nice. And we don't have to. Oh, no. How do you go down? Is it C? It's C to go down. W to go forward, spacebar to go up. Oh, this is brilliant. And then if we go up to the surface, uh, what? All right, if we go up to the surface, Okay, I don't know why we'd want to go along the surface, but I just wanted to see. Oh, this is brilliant. You probably can't see much because it's night time. But this is absolutely brilliant. Okay, uh, see. Up a little bit. And forward. Oh. Okay, I think we're going to have to build a little bit of a of a port, maybe. Maybe not here. But I think under this one. I think under this one. We'll build a port. Oh, this is so nice. And then left shift to dismount. And you just hit it like you hit anything else. Oh, that is nice. And then let's unlock you. I just lose everything. Oh, no. I didn't lose everything. It's fine. And we've got the final piece of our base. Wow. Okay. 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 Right. Um, that's it. We finished the game. We'll start another one next week. Yeah. <laughs> now that we've done this, we, um, yeah, now we can, we can start doing all kinds of interesting stuff. All right. So what else do we need to do? Not today, obviously. Uh, oh, a high voltage wire connector. Blue Emmy glass cable and Inferium chest plate. Nice. That is nice. And we get an obsidian hammer for mining. Okay, oh, that's XP that I don't want. All right, so what's this? This is the plane. Okay. In between episodes, I'm going to go exploring in the sea moth. And I will also make the diving suit off camera because there's not much. You need to make Invar imbued cloth and that is um, Invar blend and a bolt of linen cloth in the mixing bowl. There's nothing, nothing major. So I can do, I can do all of that because that involves a lot of Invar cloth. Basically. 
um signalium imbued cloth how do you get signalium gold redstone and silver and that needs to be heated so we can't i can't do that bit not yet but i can certainly make the scuba gear and next episode we'll make the airplane the yeah the plane what do they want floaty bedding what on earth is float TNT can be dropped from your plane like bombs by right clicking it onto the plane and then using flint and steel while in flight. <laughs> but floaty bedding can be used to take off and land on water. Okay. I like. I like. Oh, I feel like Indiana Jones. Large plane. Okay. Next episode, we're getting the plane and we're going flying. So, yeah. So that's what we're doing. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.